Hello, hello! Welcome back to a new episode of Nicholas Plays. Oxygen not included. Welcome back. And if I time this perfectly correctly, now we will be getting a new achievement. Let's see what it is. Nice. What can it be, right? Hey, it's turn of the century. Reach cycle 100 with at least one living duplicate. Yay! That's awesome! Today's episode is going to be a short one to fix the issue of my achievement not being locked into Steam and also some annoying performance issues. I started a replay, but I'm following my own steps quite closely. I can even recreate the duplicates exactly the same way as they were. With the help of the mod called DGSM. Short for Duplicate Generation Settings Manager. It's like magic. Oh, did I mention that? It's really tedious. Imagine doing this again for like eight times. Oh my god. But I have some really cool clips and some fancy editing I want to show you guys. Let's dive in. So here we are trying to build our new and improved kitchen and also the evolution chamber together with also a room dedicated to sharing our extra dracos. Nice! This is done! Awesome! And now we have a natural reserve. Yay! Oh wow, this took quite long. This is cycle 102. Usually I get this one maybe around cycle 20. Yeah. I'm also enabling more of our hydrogen generators because our duplicates have been running on the wells quite constantly. So we have quite a lot reserve of hydrogen. I need to build our hydrogen reserve tanks soon, very soon. Very nice, it is working. We built this automated delivery system. Oh yes, see, the eggs are getting picked up and they are getting shipped into our evolution chamber. And if we have any kind of meat right here, right, our auto sweeper will pick that up and then send it to our electric grill to be turned into barbecue. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. For the last 120 cycle, we have dug out all this place. There's a lot of stuff that are not being used yet and they're all being accumulated on these uh, weight plates. I have finally built our storage room and we can collect all of this into this little chamber. Let's see how soon we can get all these 285 tons of stuff into this storage room. Oh, by the way, all these dupes, they have their improved carrying two scales. So all of them can carry about two tons of stuff per trip. Nine, seven, five, two, zero. Nice. I think in total that took about eight dupes, a full day of work. But that's awesome. Not only we have cleared up all that junk off this wood plate, if you compare it to the one below, right, all the debris right here, they are emitting minus 77 negative decor. But now all that is contained right here. Cool, cool. So for the last 10 cycles, I've been hard at work. Right now, all our base is looking clean and tidy. And we have also built these new living quarters for our lovely duplicates. These two empty floors will eventually be filled with Atmo suit dogs. So whenever they go out of their bedroom, they put on their suit. And whenever they come back here, they will take it off. Ooh, I also updated our game to the newest Hot Shots update. And now we got a new room type, it's laboratory. And while you are gone, well, <laughs> I did something secret behind your back. I have researched into material science research. So now we can start research into renewable energy and get our steam turbine. Yeah, I'm planning to tear these two research stations down and use this room as our dedicated laboratory. We can finally put something more enjoyable in this room. Nice, we got a hundred rat bolts. We should stop them right now. 
Otherwise, they're just wasting stuff, right? We have been busy. Not only we have finished all this research. Ooh, and we got a new achievement: Art Underground. Yes, now we have steam turbine. We also have atmos suit finally, and we also have fine art technology. Yay! Oh, right. I was gonna say that now we have something much more enjoyable. We have a massage clinic. Yes, nice. And we have fully equipped our first bedroom with atmos suit dogs. I'm not sure whether if you remember, but a while ago we discovered that this is a iron volcano, and I'm planning to use it to get free iron from this place, and also to get some power out of it. And this is the design I'm going with. Let's see how it works out. Five, four, three, two, one. Here it goes. Oh yes, we have quite a bit steam, and they're hot enough. Yes, we're generating power. And ooh, it's a hot, hot, hot iron that's being cooled down drastically. Okay, Doki. Before we finish today's episode, here is the latest. We have acquired this iron volcano. However, we haven't built a steam engine to harvest its volcanic power yet. Ooh, we have also opened up this、uh, copper volcano, and we have accumulated quite a bit copper. Although it went into dominant state, and、uh, these copper is not in contact with the water, hmm. Hopefully, it will come back in life soon. Have I mentioned that we have also got our carnivore achievement about four cycles before the deadline? Yeah, we did good. However, we do have a few problems here. Even though we have a lot of hatches and also a lot of barbecues, our sandstone is running quite low, which means that hatch as a food source isn't sustainable for us very soon. Another problem is that right now we're relying on algae for all the oxygen production, but we're running really low on algae. So soon we need to change into the. Water-based oxygen and hydrogen generation method. Before we end today's episode, though, I have a few questions for you. One, what do you think is the best sustainable food source? Sustainable in a way that you have minimal maintenance while getting really high-quality food. I think in the future I might go with、um, berry sludge. Yeah, I heard that's really good and. Plant is much more performance friendly than hatches. Here comes. This is the perfect segue to the second question I have. When it comes to performance in oxygen not included, right? I think the more space you have and the more、um, gas and liquid calculations you have, right? The slower your frame rate is. Yeah. So performance.、Um, how to optimize? Some people go for vacuuming out the whole planet. Some people go the other way around.、Um, they put tiles, like they do exactly this. They put tiles on all the planet, like everywhere.、Um, from your opinion, I would like to know which one do you think is better. I do know that vacuum is not actually vacuum in oxygen not included. Vacuum is actually a kind of gas. If you go into sandbox mode, right, you can specify. How heavy, like how many grams per tile you want the vacuum to be? So it is true that vacuum is not vacuum. Vacuum is actually a type of gas in oxygen not included, which is weird. And because it is a type of gas, it does all kinds of calculations. Yeah, weird, right? Ooh, last bit before we end the video. I'm not sure whether you're aware of or not, but. Auto sweeper is not a industrial machine. However, if you build a conveyor loader in any of these、um, not industrial machine friendly rooms, they become not great hall, not a bedroom, not a washroom, because conveyor loader is an industrial machine. See, this is an industrial machine. I got a mod for that. I promise. It's the one last bit. Look, we got plastic. Yay!
But I think that's it for today's episode, and we'll come back to deal with all that next time. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and let me know what you think. If you're keen to see what happens next, subscribe if you want to, like if you like, dislike if you dislike. All right, I will see you next time. Have a great time. Ciao. Um, this is also oops. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, come on! I'm recording. Oh well, gotta restart. Darn. This will be in the bloopers. <laughs>